We're doing a bit of research online. We found out your friend sent a demo to the producers in LA. Is that correct? That is, and yes. And this is pre-MySpace days, pre-Facebook oh days. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> How did it yeah. get to them? <laughs> like, I would imagine t- up, even uploading a file would take, like, two years. <gasps> oh, my God. And it used to be, like, the dial-up thing where, you yes. know, the phone lines <laughs> yep. and the phone didn't Someone work when calls, the internet yep, did. Yep, yep. <laughs> Oh, wow. Make me feel old. Um, yes, that was um, kind of how it happened. So I always loved to sing, da, da, da. My family, my extended family were all in bands. And so I would get up and, and just sing at family parties. And then one of my cousins were like, actually, you're quite good. <laughs> I think we should get you into a studio. They knew a girl who had a studio. I went and recorded a demo. And then that demo was taken, yeah, to LA. It's so, so crazy. That demo gets sent to LA? Yeah, so I think, yeah, like in a CD like in form, the, in the mail. With the stamp and everything. Yeah, FedEx. <laughs> FedEx was back then and got sent. And, um, yeah, and then it kind of did the rounds of, you know, uh, going to labels. And then I do remember um, getting that call and they were saying, you know, we'd love for you to come over to the States and audition kind of for us. And my mum was like, sorry, she's in school. And I was like, oh, my God, mum, it's so rude. <laughs> you know, because I think yep. that oh, I had no idea. And she's like, listen, you need to finish school. That's just as important. So we went in the school holidays, which was four weeks, over to LA and I recorded and and that's when it all kind of kicked off. What was off. it like getting that? No, that call to saying that you they want to fly you to LA. I mean, for me, I was fifteen, so I just thought, oh, this is how it happens. Oh, great! Well, I'll be famous next. That's just you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> yeah, I had yep. no <laughs> concept of what it was really, really like, and I think my parents didn't really either on that scale. But they obviously were adults and they understood life, so they were like, oh, okay. They just didn't want me to get ahead of myself and expect things. So they, you got the call, and then they're like, no, actually, just finish school first. Don't go to LA. Is that yeah. what they said to yeah, you? Yeah, they were like, listen it's very important that you finish school it's very important that we stick together as a family and you know your morals and and all of those things and and I think they had heard some things about LA you know the classic Hollywood stories so they came with me my mum came with me everywhere um and then when I got my record deal with Jive Records which was a few years later my mum and dad were um were there they came mm. with me and my brothers so who lived in LA with you was it mum dad TJ Alex and wow, me your whole the family whole family yeah which was so insane I mean look it was the days of very big budgets of record deals but um yeah we we made that move and my family were like we have to stick together because we we didn't want to be um torn apart we're very very close so what did your parent what did your parents while in LA, were they working another job or anything to support you? Or were they fully my with mom, you at every rehearsal? Yeah, well, my dad was kind of doing schooling for my brothers because my brothers didn't want to go to an American school because it's a bit different. Um, and they were, I think, a year either ahead or behind. It's a bit different. So um, my dad would, would homeschool them. So he kind of became a teacher, kind of. <laughs> and uh, my mum would travel with me. She was kind of like personal management. So, yeah. She was the original mum Yeah, yep. she was. Exactly. <laughs> And so during this period of, you know, working in LA for pretty much eight years, did you find that, you know, living in Australia, then moving to LA, was what was kind of the difference in your lifestyle? I mean, it's just such a different city. And I think um, it's obviously a lot smaller, um, but it's just a, it's a different, America's a different beast. It's a different culture. It's a different place. And, and I, I had to learn, um, I think, to, I had to learn balance. I think that that's something we have here. We, we really nail that. And I think over there, when you're in the industry, balance is the biggest lesson of coming home and, and going, oh, I'm going to, unload the dishwasher or I'm going to wash the dishes or I'm going to do the washing like having chores that you still do because you do think well I'm I'm a singer now you know what I mean and you go you it's very easy for ego to take over but my parents were very very um adamant about that not happening